I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Yeah. Uh, I need some whiskey. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. The rock moves very slightly. The rock moves very slightly. I had better follow the instructions on the note before... It is too hot to touch. I am not tired now, nor do I need a hug from a bear. I do not see a way to turn it off. I'm sure this man is not the one I'm meeting, so he does not get the prototype. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. I am sure the poor fellow could use the money, but I am not here for philanthropic purposes. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four.
So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. There's no film in the camera. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. Happy to help. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. That old... What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? That old tree is blocking the great entrance. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water.
be behind jaggy lines for mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. <laughs> but it really pays off in the end. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Squeak! Waz! Whack! Click, 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 click! Beep! Heek! Click, click, click! No need. The perps are outside. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside.
Wait up, eager beaver. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people of Reno's? Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk -a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as pizza who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved, uh... 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. 
This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It's a bag full of plumber tools and an odd-looking wrench. It says, it says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paolo. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, 
That article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brother Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. What the hell is this? The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's my lawyer's business card. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, trademark, at 4468. Me. I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup or nose! Where the f- It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. My housekeeper does a pretty Good job of keeping this place clean. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. you.
It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. This goop keeps my clown fro. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. It's my special custom made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it's my special custom made clown makeup i am tired of putting it on every night sure as wish there were a more now there's the face i love Yourself. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be. Try your skill. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me! Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face! I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me! I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain of kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 13 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have 13 kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. You, I'm out of here. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. It's my lawyer's business. It's my lawyer's business. Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. It says... Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier.
If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Thank you, goodbye. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks. I just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bit. Try your skill. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. With the grand you owe me. Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I gets the full 1138 bucks. Now beggar off. No waiting, take a shot. Try your skill. You got my money, Ransom the ass white clown? I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. With the grand you owe me. Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I gets the full 1138 bucks. Now beggar off. Step right this way. Just shoot like a... It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Nothing's inside. I've checked. Move along, move along. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need... Ah... I can't go on stage without my joke book. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. I don't wear f hats. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best luck. It's already closed. Yourself. It's my special custom made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure is. Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off Ransom the Clown! We got prizes! You got my money, Ransom the ass white clown? I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? 
Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Eh, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. Yeah, shoot the... You got my money ransom, the ass white clown? What up is my junk book? I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me! I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. Where the f is my junk book? I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You, I'm out of here. Yeah, shoot like a man or a hey, guaranteed that I don't think suing him's gonna help. Come on over. I can't open that. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. I've already applied my goddamn makeup, you moron. I won't need any more. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay now. And finally... Well, that d It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book. Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has.
Yeah, sure. You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? How many kids do you say you have? I have 13 kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. F you, I'm out of here. It's already. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally. Top. Da. Ah. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win big today. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen, yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! The
you, old lady. You up the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. <laughs>